It's time now for a tasty recipe for dinner. We're in the kitchen with Chef Nikita, who's whipping up a tasty dish that you can make for your family tonight. Good to see you. you too. All right, you've been with us since you were in high school, yeah. cooking and really making easy recipes that the whole family can right. make. And now you're almost graduating college, and, and you've kind of upped the ante, I think. Yeah, um, still using my fresh ingredients, taking advantage of seasonal ingredients as well. So bringing back the theme again with I you guys. Like it. <laughs> okay, now what are we gonna make today? We are making a fresh baked salmon with salsa verde, and then on the side we're gonna have like an avocado relish and also mango and corn salsa. Oh my gosh, that sounds right? so delicious. <laughs> okay, we're starting with the salmon here. Yeah. Um, how do we pick it out? So usually you wanna look for a salmon that has a bright orange color. You wanna make sure, um, for me, I like to have fresh salmon and um, try to stay away from the frozen salmon. So just ask the person who's working at the counter when they got it in and then okay. pick from there, yeah. Okay, so we're starting off, you have this nice cut of salmon. Yeah, so we're gonna keep it really simple. I just have a store-bought salsa verde and then you're just gonna put that on top. Before you cook it, you're gonna put it on top. Correct, and okay. that's all the seasoning for the salmon. Um, and then you're gonna bake that in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes until it's fully cooked through. Okay, it only, I know salmon does cook pretty quick, 15 yeah. minutes. Um, and then to top that off when it's baked and cooked through, we're gonna mix in some avocado with some cilantro, onions, do you like jalapeno? Do you have, like some spice? I cannot handle no? anything. No? Okay. <laughs> but I have a twin sister and she okay. can handle a lot of it. Okay. So you can just do this to taste, I just right? put a little bit, yeah. So okay. you don't even need to put that in. And then I put some salt, some pepper. And the great thing about this is, is that if you're even vegetarian, you can go ahead and put in um, veggies instead, oh, instead of the salmon. Idea. And then uh, put some lime in there. So this is pretty similar to a guacamole. So you have that creamy element to put along with your salmon. And how much do you blend this in? Because it's really chunky right now. Yeah, so this is up to your preference. I like to have my guac kind of a bit more chunkier, mm -hmm. but you can just mash it through if you like more of like a smoother consistency. So it's up to you. That's a great thing about cooking. It's up to your preference and whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so you have that on the side, yes. which is right here. And you can see from the uh, final dish here, but that's not all we're going to do. You also have this great salsa. Yes. So you know that I love using fresh ingredients. Um, so I have uh, about two corn heads here that I just cut off the kernels. And then I'm gonna put in some mango. Yum. And then also some heirloom baby tomatoes. And they do use mango and pineapple a lot in salsa. Yeah, it's a great mixture between the tart and the sweetness. So that's why I also put in some lemon juice to kind of balance everything out. Then we're going back to some jalapeno. All right, you're like it's spicy. Yeah, um, but thankfully this balances out really well. So, but like I said, you don't need to put that in at all. I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil also to bring everything together. And that just, I mean, it looks fresh and it, right. yeah, tasty. Yeah, and then it's great for the summer. July 4th is coming up, so you can go ahead and make this as a salad on the side. Uh, so You could have that, like you have it as a salsa, but right. it could also be a salad. Yeah, I like having big bowls of salad, mixing in everything I like. Great idea. So I would just go ahead and eat this whole bowl also. I think I could <laughs> right now. And you know what? This is the final dish. Yes. It looks terrific. And the best part is you can also go on your Facebook page and on Facebook, you have a lot of different recipes too. I do. I have all the recipes from what I've done with you guys as well. Some updates also, some health tips on what I'd like to do in college. Um, I love implementing different um, ideas into the kitchen as well, and I like to share them with you guys as and well. And you always make it so simple <laughs> but tasty. I love right. it. All right. All you have to do, everyone, is go to facebook.com slash chef Nikki to be or go to tastyhealthydishes.blogspot.com. All right.